Good day, my name is Jaya Roberts and I will be speaking about marine natural compounds isolated from sponges, cyanobacteria, coral, tunicates, and algae as potential inhibitors against the main proteus of SARS-CoV-2, a molecular docking study. So the outline I have today is to give some background information on COVID-19. I'll introduce my research question slash hypothesis. Then I'll go through the experimental program that I use within this research, following with the metas, results, discussion, and acknowledgements. So some background information is SARS-CoV-2 is not the first coronavirus to cause outbreak of respiratory illnesses in humans. It's believed to originated in animals such as bats and cats as the first host and then transferred to humans where we are now finding person-to-person -person transmission through droplets. I was first detected in Wuhan, China in December 2019 and now it's detected to affect over 70 locations internationally including the U.S. The virus gets its name from SARS-CoV-2, where SARS is Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, which it affects the upper respiratory tract of the sinuses, the nose and throat, and the lower respiratory tract of the windpipe and lungs. And it gives us flu-like symptoms of sneezing, coughing, and sore throat. There are no current cure. However, hospitals are trying to maintain it using remdesivir as a treatment. So for the structure of the coronavirus, we find that it's a large enveloped positive strained RNA and they have spike-like projects of glycoprotein on its surface. It has a membrane envelope and spikes that acts as structural proteins that help the virus obtain an entry into a host cell. And this is just showing you how it looks, where we find that coronavirus gets the root word corona in it, which means crowns like from its glycoprotein structure. Which leads me to my research question, which are the components from the marine resources good inhibitors of the main proteus in coronavirus, the SARS-CoV-2? And my hypothesis is if the docking studies performed on the components of these marine resources against the main proteus have a low glide score, then the component is a good inhibitor of the main proteus. The program that I used was Maestro, which is a portal to Stradinger, which is a state-of-the-art chemical simulation software used in pharmaceutical biotechnology and materials science research base. And I have these dynamics in the software that could help with showing the pattern and strengths and properties of different protein behaviors, drug receptor interactions, solvations of molecules, and the different changes of the proteins that could undergo any variation that we would seek fit. The main proteus that we chose was 6W63, which we downloaded from PDB, which is Protein Data Bank. And this is just showing its configuration in Maestro. 6W63 is also a viral protein inhibitor. As for the methods, first we started with literature review, then we did a selection of protein and compounds, which we then got over 100 marine compounds, but then we reduced that down to 71. We downloaded the compounds and then uploaded it into Maestro. Then to filter it, we used the Lipinski rule of five, which helped evaluate the likeliness of the drug or to determine the chemical compound if used in pharmaceutical stages for its effectiveness in humans. Then we then began with preparing the compound through leg prep. We ran a quick prop to predict the ADME, which is absorption, distribution, metabolism, and extrusion, which helps with the likelihood of the drug success. We then did protein preparation wizard uh, for the protein slash ligands entering a receptor grid. If we did the glide sides through the docking scores, and that gave us our top scores throughout. For the marine resources, we had marine algae, brown, green, and red, sponges, coral, tourniquets, diaphragates, and cytobacteria. The reason we had 71 specifically is because we got it from Indonesia specific 
Pacific region and the Caribbean as our main places where we absorb them, the marine compounds from. As for the classification system, we want it to be organized. So we then did the compound slash organism is pop chem number slash ID. So we could have future research researchers find where we got our information from, the chemical name, the 2D structure, the species and the title class. So for instance, the carrageenan we had, which was got from the Redophyta species, and it's a red sea weed. As for the results, we found that our type cheek was dicol dichlorohydroxycarmelo and 66 becal to be our top three scores, where we find that the glide scores are shown in a scoring function where the approximately the ligand binding energy. The lower the score, the better it is, specifically from negative eight and lower. And we find from each we they are in a suitable case to be considered effective. And our control was just a positive co-crystal ligand, which just showed us where the starting part could have been at. But we ours are in the range, so it's considered effective. Also, we wanted to show the quick prop results and I wanted specifically to show you how it looked in Maestro. So we had the same as shown before, the same top three. However, when we did the protein preparation, if you ask why are there three dicols, this is because dicol had water and solvents attached to its ligand. So this helped us break it down where we specifically are just looking at the first one because this is the ligand, this is the water, and this is the solvent. However, regardless, this, this still show the top three, which is good. And for conclusion, our top scholars were basically all algae and it came from the Indo-Pacific region. For, and these were shown to be good ligand binding scores of drug trials. For future work, we will maybe want to see why the Caribbean was in the top scores. That would be a nice, interesting thing. Also, we would like to collaborate with the Marine Biology Department to safely extract the compounds so we could see for ourselves. That would be interesting. And then also perform quantitative structure, activity, relationship, and pharmacy for to clarify our likelihood of a good binding results as future work. These are my acknowledgements. I would like to thank the NSF ACE grant, the HBCU UP program, the ECS program, my mentor, Dr. Neem Boksani, and my co-author, Tukwana Barron. The, for any questions, feel free to contact me at jada.roberts at students.uvi.edu. Also, I have my LinkedIn attached, so feel free to pause the video so you could capture it. These are my references, and I wanted to leave you guys, since this is a COVID-19 research-based project, with some safety precautions. So make sure to wash your hands with soap and water between your fingers, underneath your nails, and wash the back of your hands as well for 20 seconds. And this could be set enough for, to sing the happy birthday song twice. Make sure to cover your nose when you sneeze. So preferably into a t-shirt, into an elbow, you need to be respectful of others. Make sure to wipe down major surfaces or touched objects that are commonly known, so door handles, tables and desks, the toilet seat, faucet handles, uh, stair banister, the digital devices such as your laptops and phone, make sure to maintain six feet distances. If you are to go out, make sure to wear a mask, preferably just stay inside, stay safe, and avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. This is the end of my presentation, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to contact me if you do have any further questions, and thank you.